डियर स्टूडेंट एज वी हैव डिस्कस इन अवर चैप्टर नंबर फोर डिफरेंट राइडिंग प्रिंसिपल्स एंड हाउ टू इम्प्रूव अवर राइडिंग स्किल्स बिजनेस राइडिंग स्किल्स सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी विल डिस्कवर वी विल डिस्कस ऑल द टॉपिक एंड एंड वी विल यू नो डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ दैट चैप्टर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक types of formal communication before starting this chapter nature and kinds of communication chapter number 5 so just keep one thing in your mind as we have discussed in chapter number 1 formal language in formal language now formal communication in formal communication so first what is formal communication and what is informal communication formal communication formal communication usually as like formal language we use words official words different places at offices or you know letter memos presentation we use formal communication while informal communication we say in movie theater and other informal places usually we use words that we call as informal words or or we have studied that informal language that is called informal communication now there are types of communication we will study in detail inshallah now first i have written here types of formal communication what are the types of formal communication we will discuss one by one in detail so the topic will be clear now number one is downward communication now what is downward communication downward communication means when a communication flows from superior to subordinate means from higher authority to lower authority in an any organization or in an any department when the communication flows from superior to subordinate so that communication we call downward communication like from boss to employee so in this communication usually plan notices orders summaries memos when the boss want to convey message these kind of regarding this kind of opinion letter memos or writings so what he convey he convey all these thing properly properly in a way that the subordinate or the lower authority or staff they might understand and give feedback of that communication now number employee become aware of the law the insurance policy pension and training now this communication how downward communication help employees employees aware regarding the insurance policies employee employee become aware regarding the law rules and regulation changing rules and regulation in interdepartmental organization so they become aware when the boss convey message in a proper order they become aware of the changing laws uh, changing policy of the pension insurance and salaries or bonus or benefit regarding okay so that is downward communication again downward communication means when a communication flow from superior to subordinate and now next is upward communication what is upward communication upward communication means when a communication flows from subordinate to superior subordinate to superior means like the lower rank or authority or employee they communicate with their boss they communicate their problems easily with the boss it create good coordination in a department when the employee feel freely to communicate with his boss different policies procedures memos so circulars so it is very easy for the subordinate to convey to plan to decide and to convey message to boss like suggestions complaints guidance like what sort of thing they want to communicate to boss it will be easy for the subordinate to communicate to superior and and the problems and proposals daily report and summary they provide all kind of documentation all kind of summary to boss and it will be very easy for the boss to analyze what they are giving feedback so this is very important communication it it will create a coordination among the coordination among the department so that is called upward communication again upward communication means communication flows from subordinate to superior that is called upward communication now we are moving toward number 3 horizontal or cross wise communication what is horizontal communication horizontal communication for example different department but the same authority level 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल मार्केटिंग मैनेजर ऑफ वन डिपार्टमेंट एंड प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर ऑफ एन अदर डिपार्टमेंट वेन दे कम्युनिकेट विन मत वन एंड अदर दे हैव सेम अथॉरिटी बट डिपार्टमेंट आर डिफरेंट सो मार्केटिंग मैनेजर एंड प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर डिपार्टमेंट आर डिफरेंट बट दे कम्युनिकेट विद वन एंड अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल मार्केटिंग मैनेजर ऑफ वन डिपार्टमेंट कम्युनिकेट विद द प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर ऑफ एन अदर डिपार्टमेंट रिगार्डिंग एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ पॉलिसीज और एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ मेमोज और एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ सेल लेटर और रिपोर्ट और द मैसेज दे वॉन्ट टू कन्वे सो दे कम्युनिकेट इट ईजीली लोअर और हायर स्टेटस ऑफ डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट और लोअर और हायर स्टेटस ऑफ another department is the same thing for example lower status of one department lower status of another department higher status people of one department higher status people of another department when they communicate with one another of the same rank they communicate idea freely and they they convey different sort of uh, situation topics regarding proposal memo summaries presentation so they convey it easily in an horizontal or crosswise communication same i say crosswise crosswise in a means that two person of different department having same authority level they communicate with one another for the benefit of their own organization so that communication we called as horizontal communication or crosswise communication now we are moving towards number 4 diagonal communication what is diagonal communication diagonal communication means different department and different authority two department having different authority means one is a salesman and other is a production manager now different department different authority when they want to communicate with one another they communicate regarding sales letter sale promotions letter regarding inquiry order letter any kind of business letter they communicate easily and and they share their ideas they are working the benefit of their own organization for example i have written there ke salesman suggest to production manager to modify product design according to the customer rate now this is the topic of the modification of the product according to the customer this is the suggestion of the salesman to the production manager now means salesman is communicating with the production manager of another department they have different status they have different department when they communicate with one another for the benefit of his own organization that communication we call diagonal communication so student we have discuss in detail the types of formal communication downward communication upward communication horizontal communication diagonal communication so just keep in mind all four types of the formal communication now in our next lecture we will discuss what is informal communication and what are the types of the informal communication then we will discuss the difference between formal and informal communication so it will be easy for you to understand each and every aspect of the topic and it will clear concept so thank you for listening now we will discuss in our next lecture what are the types of informal communication thank you